Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Ellie Rutledge Silver with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Two federal judges in Hawaii and Maryland have halted President Trump's latest travel ban with temporary injunctions. Here to share more is Jennifer Muneer, ALA's second vice president. Jennifer, thanks for joining me. What do these rulings say? Well, this is um, a federal court challenge in two different districts, both Hawaii and in Maryland, um, to the latest iteration of President Trump's travel ban. So as just as brief background, there were two prior travel bans, one issued in January, one issued in March. Both of those were also subject to litigation that, that resulted in injunctions. This travel ban is a little bit different. The, uh, the countries to whom it applies are a little bit different. So, and also the level of restrictions, the type of restrictions on visas are slightly different. And the duration is different. The previous travel bans were of limited duration. This one is of indefinite duration. So this travel ban applies to eight countries, Chad, Libya, Syria, Somalia, Yemen, Iran, North Korea, and Venezuela. The litigation that was brought to challenge these travel restrictions um, only was brought as to six of those eight countries. So North Korea and Venezuela were not included in the litigation, and therefore they're also not included in the injunction, which means that the, uh, the travel ban will take effect today as to North Korea and Venezuela, but not as to the other two countries. So um, the district court in Hawaii issued yesterday a nationwide temporary restraining order um, against the implementation of the travel ban as to those six countries. Uh, the Maryland district court today issued a similar preliminary injunction um, with slight differences but also applied only to six of the eight countries, excluding North Korea and Venezuela. What do they mean for those who may be impacted? Well, it means uh, that for the nationals of the six countries who are the subject of this uh, temporary restraining order, um, it's as if the, the travel ban never existed, for the moment anyway, until there's a further decision on, on the case. Um, so for right now, people from Chad, Libya, Syria, Somalia, Yemen, and Iran are free to apply for visas and enter the U.S. on visas that they've been issued. Um, people from North Korea and Venezuela are subject to the travel ban restrictions that appear in that uh, September 24th travel ban. However, um, the population of people that we're talking about who will be impacted by those travel restrictions is likely to be fairly limited, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is that uh, historically, we just don't issue that many visas to North Koreans anyway. Um, it's a very small number. So the likelihood that there will be many people impacted by the inability to get a visa um, is, is fairly limited. Um, with regard to Venezuela, the travel ban itself um, is very limited in, in its scope. Um, most Venezuelans will still be eligible to apply for any kind of visa and to come to the United States. Venezuelan government employees of certain listed government agencies in the, uh, in, in the presidential proclamation will be precluded from applying for visitor visas to come to the U.S. So that's a very small percentage of, of the total population of Venezuelans who might want to visit or, or live in the U.S. Um, and the rest will still remain eligible to apply for visas. So what happens next? Well, the federal government has already indicated that it, it definitely plans to appeal uh, yesterday's decision from the Hawaii District Court. I'm sure they'll do the same with the Maryland District Court decision. And that means it will go up to the circuit court level, um, the Circuit Court of Appeals. And in, uh, in, uh, in Hawaii, that's the Ninth Circuit. And in Maryland, that's the Fourth Circuit. Um, there are some slight differences in the two, um, the two orders that came down in terms of the scope. Of the, of the injunction. So that presents an issue for the Supreme Court to resolve, and I expect that sooner rather than later, that's exactly where we'll be, is in the Supreme Court determining um, whether or not this injunction remains in place and what the scope of it will be if it does. And then ultimately, uh, um, I'm sure the Supreme Court will also be deciding the merits of whether, um, whether this travel ban is in fact constitutional and uh, within um, the bounds of the statute that the president is required to adhere to. Um, so of course, this is a, a, an issue of extreme importance to AILA, and we will continue to watch and monitor the developments and report back to the community on what's going on. 
Thanks, Jennifer, for joining me. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.